if I understand correctly, at Sennheiser, you actually like vibrations of the dashboard. Uh, we do when they are controlled and when they are curated and when these vibrations are good sound. So you say they are controlled. How do you control the vibrations? It's uh, the same physical uh, properties that need to be taken into account when designing a speaker, when designing the sound in vibrating surfaces. So it's really uh, a, a software uh, DSP algorithm that makes sure that the, the vibration in total, wherever they are actuated in the car, result in a more concert-like um, atmosphere rather than just in a rattle. Mm -hmm. Can you be more specific? What is the idea of your innovation? Well, the, uh, the idea behind it is really just to remove uh, the weight uh, of the speakers and the space requirements that speakers would have in the car, because that's uh, one of the big uh, uh, cumbersome jobs for a car designer to make space for uh, speakers. With that technology, uh, the space is reduced significantly, so is the weight, and at the same time, uh, it has an, an environmental impact because then electronic driving cars uh, can drive longer. And our part of the collaboration is to design the software and to make sure that the tuning of the entire system is right so that it's, it's really great sound. How do you tune the plastic of the dashboard? Uh, that's really the, uh, the, how the accentuator is being uh, used. Uh, the plastic of the dashboard is, of course, a physical property that we need to take into account, like the diaphragm from a traditional speaker. Uh, but as soon as these properties are known, they can be controlled through software. So you actually record these noises and you, uh, you provide anti-sounds? No, the, uh, there is, of course, the 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 normal uh, vibration of the car that is being reduced uh, through physical means, through, through mechanical means to reduce it to a minimum. Uh, what we do is we overlay um, any residual sound with the good sound, uh, th so the good vibration, so to say, uh, that people are then able to hear. Electronic cars are very quiet already because there's very little external sounds. Tires get more and more uh, silent and also the streets themselves um, become more silent. So there's more space for good sound to be created. And how do you determine good or bad sound? Well, I think that's our 75 years of expertise to, to say what is, what is good sound, what is great sound and what is truly immersive. That's why Continental and, uh, and Sennheiser teamed up because this is really where our expertise lies. Can we expect that Sennheiser will also provide normal audio speakers for cars? Well, we have uh, normal speakers for the home uh, industry or for the, for the studio industry. Uh, but we will, of course, not go to provide just normal speakers in the car because uh, Sennheiser is always pushing the limits of what technology can bring. And with these speakerless audio systems, of course, this is the area where we can provide our technology, our software. Um, it, we wouldn't really make a difference in traditional. But we can expect that Zenhar we go to the audio car audio market. Well, that's that's the root cause of the collaboration. That now we have a Sennheiser premium audio system, so the Ambio 3D system for mobility, and that is available to OEM manufacturers. And um, yeah, it's only a matter of time until we see them on the street. In a matter of months or years? I, it, it's years because it's the normal uh, development cycle. Uh, Every car has different properties. Like you said, the, the dashboard has a physical property. So it is a kind of a co-development project with the OEM and Conti for each car line. Just to be clear, it's not going uh, only about software, also about the hardware? Yeah, the, of course, the, the um, accentuator, these are, is a new way of uh, creating the vibrations in the first place. Um, so the new freedom that is given to the OEM needs to be also taken into account and made good use of. So we're not just planning to remove speakers from existing system and replace them uh, with the new system. So it's going to be for new cars only. Thank you very much for this. Okay.